talked to any friends of the writer Hisham Matar, and he has many, and soon they'll bring up one of his more notorious pastimes. Have you ever seen how he looks at art? Matar has a habit born from his early years living in London, a period of immense grief, of choosing a painting and spending hours with it each week. He would take lunch breaks at the National Gallery with Velázquez, Duccio, or the Lorenzetti brothers, sticking with the same piece of art for months until he felt it was time to move on. Looking at an artwork with him and comparing impressions later, as another said, it's as if only Matar saw it in full color. Matar is best known for his Pulitzer Prize-winning autobiography, The Return. Fathers, sons in the land in between, a dual lament for his homeland, Libya, and his father, a critic of Muammar al-Qaddafi whose exact fate remains unknown. But he began as a fiction writer, with two austere, elegiac novels about boys in the shadow of absent fathers. His debut, In the Country of Men, was shortlisted for the Booker. His new novel, My Friends, his first in 13 years, is his return to the form. The book, which Random House published on Tuesday, follows three Libyan exiles in London and their decades-long friendships. Khalid, a bookish man from Benghazi, anchors the story, along with Mustafa, whom he meets at university in Scotland, and Hosam, an enigmatic writer. The novel draws on themes Matar has examined for years, solitude, deracination, the totality of grief, but is also his most substantive exploration of friendship. Relationships bring us alive, Matar, 53, said during an interview from his studio in London. Matar was born in New York City in 1970 to Libyan parents. At the time, his father, Jabala Matar, was working for Libya's permanent mission to the United Nations. In 1990 the Matar's greatest nightmare became a reality. Jabala was detained by the Egyptian police and taken to Libya, where he was jailed in Tripoli's Abu Salim prison, the site of a 1996 massacre that claimed about 1,200 lives and countless other horrors. I envy the finality of funerals, Mata writes in, The Return. I covet the certainty, how it must be to wrap one's hands around the bones, to choose how to place them, to be able to pat the patch of earth and sing a prayer. In conversation, Matar is thoughtful and quick to laugh, with a wide array of illusions at hand, Ingmar Bergman, Marcel Proust, the Syrian poet Nazar Kabana. London has been Matar's home for over 30 years, though he generally teaches at Barnard College one semester per year. Families are ingenious at teaching us how to love, Matar said. Friendship, on the other hand, is even more curious because it implicates you into another's life in a way that's not at all fatalistic. It has nothing to do with blood. The book that became My Friends began over a decade ago as a short story about three men meeting at a London cafe. My Friends is told over the course of a walk one of the characters, Khaled, takes through London in 2016. As he crosses the city, the narrative unfolds in a loose, discursive fashion, with Khaled reflecting on his early years in Benghazi, where he first encountered Hosam's writing, the life he built in the United Kingdom, and his warring instincts particularly about home. The story is grounded in several true events beyond the Arab Spring. A 1984 anti-Gaddafi demonstration in London is its pivotal moment, Khalid and Mustafa are injured at the protest, which turns deadly, and their involvement forecloses the immediate possibility of going home. His non-fiction detours, in the wake of the Arab Spring, helped to ready him for the novel. The Return draws on hours of testimony from former political prisoners, including several members of his family, that he collected in the aftermath of the revolution in Libya. But it's such a magnificent failure. Uable step towards managing alcohol consumption and improving overall health. 